Hi there. Today I'd like to demo some of the power of GitLab's integrated set of tools for the software development lifecycle, helping you get from idea to production as quickly as possible. We'll start with a simple project and we'll show you the power of built-in continuous integration, built-in container registry, and built-in continuous deployment. Here's a simple Ruby application based on the Sinatra framework. If we go to the production site, we can see that it's really just a simple page. Uh, there's not much to it. As a developer, I'm going to take a look at the issue tracker. And I see that there's an issue there for me to work on. Let's click through. OK, this is really straightforward. It's just asking me to make some changes to some text. And like there is already an associated merge request with it. Let's click through to that. Here we can see this merge request. We can take a look at the actual code in there. Yeah, just a little text change, um, really straightforward. If I wanted to, I could discuss there, put some comments. I could even comment on the code itself, tag it, have a conversation back and forth with the developers, peer review, all that kind of stuff. But looking at the code is one thing, but I really want to see this live. So let's go back to the project here, and I'm going to click through on the staging site. Now we can see the staging site already has that change running. Just to refresh your memory, if I go back to the production site, it was title and the staging site says welcome. So I can see that it's already running that merge request. But now I look at that and I'm not really happy with it. So let's go make another change. So let's pull back up that merge request. And then let's start editing it. Here, I'm just going to make another simple text change and then go ahead and commit that back. Now that we've made that change, we can actually see that it's kicked off continuous integration to rerun tests. It's started the tests already. We can click through, see that it's pulling a Docker image to go and run the tests. This happens to be a Ruby app again, so it's pulling Ruby down. And, you know, simple things, bundle install, run, uh, run the actual test, and that succeeded. After the tests are done, we're now going to build this into a Docker container. So let's spun up another job here. Now the Docker container can actually take a little while to build. So in the meantime, let's go head over to the pipelines tab. And here we can see actually a history of all of our builds that have gone on. Um, you know, we can actually see the status of this current one, but I can go through the, the history and I can see any failures really quickly. And I can tell what stage they failed in. That one failed in deploy. This one failed even just during the tests. Another one failed during the deploy. Now, we, there's also this Environments tab. Where we can see that there's a production and a staging environment. We'll get to that a little bit later. Let's go back now and actually check on our merge request and see where we're at. Well, I can see the build uh, is still running. Let's go through. It's actually finished the Docker build now and is now in the final deploy stage. In this case, it's actually deploying using Docker Cloud and Docker Cloud is reaching through to our container registry and pulling the container image that was built in the previous stage and then deploying that automatically out to, uh, to the staging um, environment. So we can see now it's succeeded so let's go back to the project again and pull up the staging server. There we can see that, in fact, yes, this has changed. Now that we're happy with that, I think we can go through and merge this request. 
Let's accept the merge request. And everything's good. But now because it's been merged into master, we actually need to kick off continuous integration again. We can see here now there's a new build happening on the master branch. It's still running tests at the moment. And this is so that we know for sure that after the merge request has been merged into the master branch, that it still works. Just in case anything else has changed on master in the meantime, you wanna make sure you run all your tests again. So now while we're waiting, let's go back to that environments tab and let's actually click through on production and take a look at all the deployment history for that uh, production environment. You can see all the history of everything that's been deployed and not only what was deployed, what Git SHA, we can see the commit history um, so we can get a sense for what um, functionality has been deployed and we know exactly when things have been deployed. This is really useful for debugging any kind of production changes, outages, increases of error rate or whatever. We can go back and, and look through and see what was deployed and when. It's also really great if something does go wrong, horribly wrong, and you don't want to wait for developers to fix that change live. You could just roll back to the last known good version, which is really, really useful for production environments. Now let's go check on our master build, see where we're at. Okay, tests have done, build is done, and now it's in the final deploy. Again, we can watch along live as this goes. And again, it's using Docker Cloud, but now this time it's deploying to production instead of staging. There, it's finished. Now that everything's updated, let's go back and load our production site. And there we go. We see that the, the change is now live on our production site. Now let's take one final look at the container registry itself. And we can actually see, here's all the images that we've created so far for this, including a couple of special tags for staging and production. And just to confirm, again, we can see that the production tag was set two minutes ago, and that's the image reflecting our production environment. So there we can see everything end-to-end -end from continuous integration, deployment, and using our integrated container registry. Thanks.